I'm going to jump back into the next draft, right? And this is how I modified it. So um, very similar to what you would see in um, like a stage lighting design. Um, let me see if I can pull one up real fast. Uh, not a great one, but um, you know something like this where you're actually bordering the the framework, right? So you're actually creating that framework that's going to shine light in the direction you want it to go. So I just took that inner edge and I pushed it down so that these are kind of shining outward and onto that wall. So it's going to uh, wash both of them the same way, hopefully. Um, I might need to change the angle. This might be too extreme, but let's give it a shot. Um, so I'm going to go back into my view and pull it out so I can see it. Something kind of like that. Let's give that a draft. Ooh, this is a good one too. That guy. That's pretty sick. All right, so it feels, it's already kind of feeling a little bit more believable. Let me work with the ISO a little bit and see what we can come up with. There's still some hot spots, I can tell. Um, but if we increase that up light, um, let's see here. And, uh, Increase that up light. Let's uh, that down light's still gonna overpower it. Hmm. There's gotta be a better way to do that. Well, worst case scenario, you can. Hmm. This should be able to do that. I don't think you need to use point lights. I might need to just play around with the settings for a while here. If I reduce that up light a little more, maybe. Well, I'll mess around with this a little bit. Uh, the worst case scenario is um, you go into Rhino, and you know theoretically, because this doesn't have to actually be real, and you don't have to hide the you don't actually have to hide the elements behind this wall. Um, you can just take these um, surfaces and actually extrude them up, and then you should be able to get a clear wash across them. Um, let me make sure they're on the right layer, though. Um, that should all be on Infinity Room. Oh, and I don't have a material on that, so let me apply a material to it as well. We'll get back in there and render this out like this. Let's do one more draft in the new infinity room. And this one should read just a lot better, um, just because we're mitigating that, that whole element, um, because we don't have the physical limitations that you would in the real world. Shut her up. So let's increase accent one. Let's decrease uh, down light. Don't need any of the up lights. Let's get more contrast with that. Shut her. getting there. Okay, so um, one of the things that you're going to realize um, with doing this is that you're still going to be casting shadows. 
So um, the larger the radius you make, the less the the less shadows it's going to create, basically. Um, so just be aware of that. Like you can actually still see the base plane, you can still see the right side wall, the left side wall. Um, but if you really curved it out and made it super duper smooth, you wouldn't really see that. Okay. So what questions do you have about this? Um, I would suggest just don't worry about that backdrop area. I thought it would be a little bit easier to do. It seems like it's going to take a lot of calibration. So just, just do a smooth edge, carry it all the way up, really large radius wherever possible. Um, what you're seeing back there, just make those radius values really, really large, really smooth, um, and it should start to bleed away, um, and, or sh I should say fade away in the backdrop. Any questions? None. Wow. I must have taught this really well. I trust you all can do it perfectly now. No, it's okay. Um, I, I know that you guys are going to have some issues with it. Um, so uh, here's what I'd like you to do. Um, we are, uh, on Thursday, we're going to be doing kind of like a midterm, right, sort of-ish. And it might bleed into Tuesday of next week, right, because we're about the halfway mark. I need to make sure that you can uh, produce a set of renders that actually tell a bit of a story, okay? And this is going to be your introduction to what's happening for the rest of the semester as well. Uh, renders are no longer going to be a, te a, a strictly technical application moving forward. Okay, so what I would like you to do is, and this is a very wide open exercise with a, a, a pointed limited scope, right? I want you to tell a story with three renders using your model, okay? Whatever that story is, okay? If, it, if your story is experiencing the space in a linear fashion, where you start off on one side, you kind of step into the building, and then you go to the other side and, and look at it from the other side. That's an example of telling a story. Uh, another example of telling a story would be um, to, to basically experience every single opening in a different way, right? So you go from, from one side of the building, and you look at the openings on that side, and it has a, a certain you know, camera angle, perspective, lighting condition. Um, and then you go to another one, and you change that camera angle or perspective or lighting condition. Um, that's what I want you to think about is just establish one very simple narrative about this thing and then compose three images that tell that narrative. Is that clear enough? So this is a practice and I am going to collect these images today. Um, so, and they can be draft, nothing special. They don't have to be super great quality. I just want to see kind of how you're thinking through it. Um, and this is uh, kind of a practice for the way I'm going to introduce it on Thursday for your actual fully produced renders that we're going to do on this building. Any questions? No, this one is not due Thursday. I want it to be by the end of the day. Um, and if you, if you can't get to the point of producing lighting or anything like that, do the draft render with the same lighting and just tell me what you want to do differently, okay? Whatever you can get done, I want you to do it fast. We have about an hour and 20 minutes left in the class. So um, if you need me, grab me. Let's talk about it. But I want you to experience designing through and thinking through at the same time what your views are going to be. OK? That's why I'm keeping it mega simple. Also mega broad. No questions? OK, three images.